What does a brown recluse spider bite look like? Have you ever wondered what a brown recluse spider bite looks like? Understanding the signs can be really important, especially if you find yourself in a situation where you might be bitten. A brown recluse spider bite often starts with very subtle signs that can be easy to miss. When the spider bites, it uses small fangs, and the initial bite is usually painless. You might only feel a mild burning or stinging sensation a few hours later. When you look at the bite site, you will typically see two tiny puncture marks where the fangs pierce the skin. At first, the area around the bite may appear mildly red and slightly irritated. However, this redness can change within a few hours. You might notice a pattern that resembles a bullseye, with a pale or whitish center surrounded by an inflamed red ring. This central pale area indicates localized tissue damage, while the surrounding redness is due to inflammation. As time goes on, usually within two to three days, the bite site may worsen. The wound can develop into a dry, sunken patch of skin that may turn bluish or purplish as the tissue begins to die. You may also see a blister forming in the center of the lesion. If this blister ruptures, it can lead to an open sore or ulcer. If the bite is severe and untreated, you might notice changes within one to two weeks. The area could develop necrosis, which is dead tissue known as eschar. This looks like a black scab covering the wound. The necrotic tissue can create a crater-like lesion that may take weeks to heal and often leaves a scar. Other symptoms that may accompany the bite include itching and pain that can become severe. In some cases, you might experience systemic effects such as nausea, vomiting, muscle pain, and fever, especially if the venom spreads beyond the bite site. From a survival skills perspective, Recognizing these stages is essential for timely first aid and medical intervention. Early identification of the bite is key. Look for the characteristic to puncture marks and the evolving skin changes to help differentiate it from other insect bites or skin conditions. If you suspect a brown recluse spider bite, prompt cleaning of the wound is important. Immobilizing the affected area and seeking professional medical care are essential steps to prevent complications like tissue necrosis or systemic illness. In summary, a brown recluse spider bite typically starts as a painless or mildly painful small red spot with two puncture marks. It develops a pale center with a red ring, followed by blistering and possible tissue death. Awareness of these signs and early action can improve outcomes in survival situations.